Okay, welcome back to Super Speed Crystallis. I'm Brick Road. And last time we were here, Carmine schooled me. But, I think it's because I'm missing a treasure. There are a couple treasures in this dungeon. Usually one after every of the major bosses. And I'm just so scared that they're mimics now that... Warp boots. Those aren't going to help me very much. But... Now it is officially the next part of Super Speed Crystallis that I've been poisoned. And you're sitting there wondering, is he doing this on purpose now? As a running gag? I assure you viewers that I am not. Ooh, magic ring. Beautiful. I was afraid I'd have to go way back down to the lich floor. Okay, so I've got a magic ring now. That's nice. I will do up refresh. Now when refresh is gone... Use my magic ring and we're filling magic points. The whole reason I have to beat Carmine is because okay, I can't go this way yet. The whole reason I have to beat Carmine is because he will give me an item that I can use to restore Kensu to his regular human form. And once I've done that, oh crap. Once I've done that, I can go up there and get the next spell and go on with the game. Okay, here we go. Carmine, last of the Dragonian Generals, take two. Oh my lord, he's so hard to hit. I want to avoid those, that's what turns me into a little blob thing. Although I do have some Fruits of Repun, and they are easier to dodge than Magic Ring Time. Oh man, if only I had an opal statue. Oh no, I've been repunned! Ah. I've just gotta go for broke, gang. I gotta try to chop him up. Chop, 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 come on! Oh, he's so difficult. I mean, he's difficult at regular speed, but my reaction time is so bad that... I've got my ring. Oh, I forgot to put this on. Let's try it with the shield ring and focus on chopping rather than blasting. That seems to do more damage. When I can actually get close enough to hit him, it will. Yeah, I was afraid that was going to happen real easy. Got him! Chop, 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 chop! That's the way to beat these bosses. That's the thing I need to restore Kensu. And then beyond that is... The Storm Bracelet. Level 3 Thunder Magic. You know what? I don't think I've got enough magic points to use it. I believe it costs 60. Oh. Sigh. Breath of relief. Fortress of Goa is now officially finished. I can leave this place now. I'm going to heal Kensu using the Ivory Statue. There we go. And he's going to teach me the new spell, Flight. Yeah, buddy. And I'm going to need Flight real soon here anyway, so I won't equip it just yet. Guys, I'm so happy to be done with Goa. Oh, oh my lord. Praise God in heaven. Praise Allah. Praise Flying Spaghetti Monster. Praise them all. I mean, like, all the guys, not the mall. I'm not talking about, let's praise the mall. The movie Mall Rats by Kevin Smith. Let's not praise that movie, it's not very good. I'm sorry if I offended any Kevin Smith fans, but... It's not very good, guys. I mean, he did... Alright, he did Dogma, I like Dogma. Here's Flight! Woohoo! Flying! I love it, I dig it. Flight is great! I'm so excited that... I, you know what? I'm gonna be able to save my game. After I go through, you know what though, I believe that there is an item in here that I would like to have. I believe. So I'll try to find it. This is a cave out in the desert. The desert area of this world is called Christ uh, Sahara. And the leather boots are what I was talking about a few updates ago. I can use those to walk through damaging terrain, but they're kind of pointless because I can already jump through with the rabbit boots. 
so... I don't, I'm not really sure what the point of the Leather Boots is. I guess you do take a little tiny bit of damage with the uh, Rabbit Boots, because you still have to stand there in the damaging terrain for a small amount of time. So every time you land, you have a chance of taking a little bit of damage. This cave's kind of a uh, zigzaggy. So, I, well, I believe there's one more thing in here I want to get. I'm just trying to find it. I've already been up there. We're going to do this. We're going to cheat. We're going to fly. That's right. Brick Road is cheating at Crystallis. It's... I have no shame. I have now officially abandoned any pretense of professionalism at all. And I am now cheating. What happens if you're on a magic point suspended above a river or another, some other location where you cannot actually land on? Well, nothing happens. It just lets you float around until you move on to above some more hospitable terrain, such as regular floor. You are just irritating me, stupid insect guy. I don't actually need those bridges since I can fly over the river. I'm using them. Here we go. I'm using them kind of like breadcrumbs so I know where I've been and where I haven't been yet. Power ring. That's what I wanted. The power ring is actually worth the trouble to get. That makes my uh, sword attacks much more powerful. Of course, the very second I get out of here, I'm going to find something even better than the power ring. And I'm going to do that this update. I'm going to get out of this cave, going to get the next town on my teleport list, and I'm going to go get the best accessory in the game, something that's absolutely worth replacing the rabbit boots. But, you know, not, I can use flight to jump without rabbit boots, so they've served their purpose. I took them off a dead vampire way back in the very first update. So is this where I want to go? Yeah, this is the way out. So here I am in the desert area. You know what? I will use the leather boots in here, just so I can get through pretty quickly. There's going to be, right here, I have to fly over those little whirlpools in the desert lava quicksand... I don't know what that's supposed to be. These cats here. These, those are the experienced monsters. They're also the poison monsters. Hey, it's an official update now. I've been poisoned. I hate being poisoned. Got... Ah, Stom's rabbit. Let's change into Stom. Talk to him. He gives me a pendant. The pendant I can use to stand still and it will restore my... It will restore my magic points. I was like, what, what does it restore, Brick Road? Magic points. I don't need to use that yet. We are going to... Real quick, teleport to Goa. That's Sahara, that's the final town in the game, but we're gonna go to Goa real quick. We're going to change into Akana. We're going to go up in here. And he gives me the warrior ring. You guys are gonna love this. This is absolutely the baddest ring ever. I can't... Shooting with no charging. Okay, I need 20 magic points before I can warp back to Sahara, so... My magic points are going up. That works for me, putting on Dio's Pendant. The rest of the game is easy compared to the end of the Fortress of Goa. It's like, oh, I can't... I'm gonna save the game, it's gonna be so great. Oh, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Go to the inn. Go here. They sell magic rings for 4,000 apiece. That's wonderful. Alright, guys, we have uh, the next video is going to start out pretty boring. It's going to be me farming experience. And then we have a little sub-quest to go on, and then we've got the last dungeon, and then a big boss, and then like the little mini dungeon right at the end of the game, and then end credits. We're almost done with Let's Play Super Speed Crystallis. Save. Save. Peace out, gang. See you next update.